Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So it's Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. I hope you guys are dressing up and having fun with your families. And even if you don't celebrate Halloween, I still hope that you have a great day, okay? So this is my last idea for you guys. As you can see, I have a balloon backdrop behind me. I told you guys I wanted to give you an idea for a baby shower, a boy's baby shower. So I came up with this idea of a baby is brewing, okay? But I didn't wanna use the traditional Halloween colors of purple and green and black. So for this video, I decided to use purple, but then I used a fog blue, a navy blue, and then a gray. Because I really just wanna give you guys different color schemes, different color combinations to try at your events, okay? So I'm gonna get into the setup of this balloon backdrop, and then make sure you come back at the end of the video so I can give you some tips, all right? So let's get started.
that was the balloon backdrop. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? I just loved the way that this came out, but blue is my favorite color. <laughs> so as soon as I started blowing up the balloons, I knew I was gonna love this, all right? Now, I know someone is going to ask me, I did not create this backdrop, okay? I always get questions in the comments about how did I create this wooden panel? I didn't. So I ended up purchasing this from someone who's in my area. If you're in the DMV area and you're looking to purchase these panels, just send me an email or send me a DM and I'll give you their information, okay? They don't ship, so you have to be in this area to be able to get the backdrop, okay? But I do know a lot of people who make their own. I just didn't do it because I don't have the time, I don't have the expertise, and I don't have the space. I mean, I don't have any space in my house to do woodwork, okay? So that's the reason why I just purchased it. Now, for the balloon backdrop, let me give you guys a couple of tips. I was a little bit nervous about hanging these bats on here. I just purchased the bats from Amazon. I'll be sure to put a link on the, in the description. So I used these glue dashes and it worked. These bats have stayed up. They didn't come down. I didn't have any issues. And if you just peel it off slowly, the glue dashes won't mess up your panel, okay? So just in case you're wondering, I use these to attach these bats, okay? Now, the second tip that I will give you is that when you have these arch panels, just like any other backdrop, if you're doing something outdoors, I would recommend that you put a weight on, back, on the back of the backdrop. Because when I was outside painting, this backdrop, I guess I didn't have enough weights and the backdrop ended up falling over on me, okay? So I got paint on my neck and a little bit of paint in my hair and I was screaming. <laughs> so I learned the hard way that when you are outdoors, you need to make sure that you put a uh, weight on the back of this, especially when you're painting and when you set it up at your events, okay? I'll be sure to put the links for all of the materials that I use in the description of this video. I'll also make sure that I count all of these balloons and I'll put that in the description of this video. This is the first time that I put balloons on this type of backdrop. That's the reason why this video wasn't a tutorial because I wanted to learn myself. So once I get the hang of it, don't worry, I'm gonna put either a tutorial or an online class out there for you guys so you can learn how to create this type of balloon garland, all right? If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.